can't believe we've got boat. What the fuck? You hurt your wee uncle? Okay. <laughs> yeah, the Dutch Santa come is from Spain, something like that. Hard to hard to, hard to port. Hard to port. And look at the look at the engine. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> So welcome back to my channel and to a new vlog, which is quite an exciting one. I'm going to be telling you all about what it's like to own a boat in Amsterdam. But before I get started, I wanted to rewind back to the 25th of July, which was the day before we got the boat. My dad basically called me and he's like, I'm arriving tomorrow. Like I knew he was coming in 26. I'm arriving tomorrow, but I forgot to mention that you have to arrange for somebody to lift the boat off the back of the lorry and lower it into the water. I'm like, okay, that should be quite straightforward I'll just call some people and and ask so he's like that's the only thing I need you to do for me just arrange that get it booked in and sort it out so I'm like okay pressure is on when I worked at Tommy I kind of joined the rowing team and I went a few times rowing with them and I knew that there they had a crane that lowers boats into the water so I thought rather than calling I'm actually going to get on my bike and cycle there because I just feel like sometimes that's easier like to be in person. So I arrive and they say, oh, unfortunately, I'm not going to tell you the whole story. I'm just going to put in the clips now and then I'll explain. <laughs> that's what we need to use. Let's hope somebody can help me. So I tried quite a few places, called a few guys who said, call this guy, uh, try this place, blah, blah, blah. It was quite stressful, but in the end, we found somebody who said, just come by in the morning and I will do it for you. So thank God for that. And now I'm going to rewind back to the 26th, which was the day that my dad arrived in Amsterdam with the boat. Just going down to get the truck where the boat is on. Scott and my dad already went down because the parking was only until eight. It's now like, a minute past eight. And I'm with Cookie. Cookie, hi. She looks like a Margaret today. Can't believe we've got boat. What the fuck? It's a happy dog. There they are. There's the boat. And there's Scott. So funny. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> I'm, the, I'm just the boat delivery driver. <laughs> you know, I was telling Scott um, some of the things about the boat. What did I tell you about the boat so far, Scott? With the battery. It's a bit scaffy, that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right old. <laughs> That's cool. What one? The orange, the orange. And one. That is a, that's a flyer. That's a right old thing that. <laughs> Green cat. <laughs> oh here's the crane. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh my god, so they're just gonna lift it and plunk it in. Yeah, Live and let die. Yeah. Live and let die. Yeah. What's that for? That's because the GT one. GT one. Yeah, was in. That was him. Oh, yeah. The he's GT just, 150 was the one that was. Okay, he's just going for it. Do you no, know that? Fine. Hard to, hard to 
port. Hard to port. And look at the look at the engine. Yeah. Because it's going to take you that way. But if you did it now, it went astern. It would go into the wall. Okay. So what we do is, um, this was a practice. Put it to, and that's it starting to work. Put it right up. Oh. And that's full revs. Okay. Okay. That. Okay. Right. Good. You might need it. Right. Now you're ready to start. So just cookie. Turn, turn it. Start. Hands. Yeah, I mean, that's my knees, my knees, that my knees are nice. Why don't you get a knee replacement? No, I don't need, don't need. I wouldn't make any doing? Tell the camera what are you doing Holly? I'm just looking. Come to this side now. Yeah. So my dad stayed in Amsterdam for like two or three days and he basically gave Scott and I a crash course on like owning a boat in Amsterdam, like all about the boating etiquette, parking it or mooring it, boat language, tying knots, the whole shebang. And by the end of it, we were quite conf naturally we were freaking out. We were like, oh my God. But now fast forward four months, we're quite confident and we kind of understand the rules and how to maneuver the boat anyway. So today it's Sunday and finally the sun is shining. It's been like such a grey week and Scott is actually off work and I'm not working today either. So just as we were out for a walk with Cookie, I was like, oh my God, why don't we go on the boat today? We're always trying to find like a day to go on it and maybe like Scott's off on a Monday and I'm like, okay, if the weather's nice, then I'll also take work off. The weather's been shit. So today's the perfect day and I wanted to just take you with us on the day trip. So I hope you enjoy it. Now we're going on the boat. Hey yo. <laughs> what we're gonna do? Captain Scott. Aye aye, Capitan. Captain Cookie actually. Cookie. What the f? Oh, went over from her ankle. Oh, fuck. Is Cookie alright? Fucking fuck. I was fucking agony by the way. I don't think I can stand up. Oh, How long do you want me, me to video you for? Me. Ow, ow. What are you doing? Ow, my twist my ankle. How are you feeling? You hurt your wee ankle? Okay. Then you hurt your ankle? Oh, it's puffed right up. It's puffed right up. It's actually really sore, by the way. I can't stand on it. But anyway, I don't really care about that. How's Cookie? Are you alright? Are you alright? Hope you're alright, baby. 
Here we are, we're back on the boat. We're gonna get it ready to go on the water. I just... We'll this is my vlog. Oh shit, yeah. I just I failed. think people prefer to watch me though. When I got on the boat, I mean, the clip's there, but twisted my ankle and it's effing agony. Also, today in Amsterdam is like Sinterklaas or like, what is it actually? Yeah, that. I don't think it is because we're still Yeah, he's in coming in or, yeah, that's when he, Santa's here. He's coming from uh, North Pole. Villarreal or whatever. Oh yeah, the Dutch Santa come, is from Spain, something like that. So he's coming today. And that's what the music is if you can hear it in the background. Anyway, we're going to get the boat ready and then we'll Yeah, there's a little get... bit that you need to do on the boat. You need to like take everything apart, get the battery ready, get the petrol into the engine. A whole load of like mechanical stuff yeah, that only you, we know yeah, how to only do. only we know how to do it. Dead the technical. Nah, it's real technical. High, high skill needed. Anyway, we'll do that. Should put it on time lapse. For some reason, the engine isn't starting. <laughs> Did you pump the petrol in? Which, not always ideal. That's, lift the lever, are you doing that? Yeah. Should I call my dad? That's it. Boat 24 cleared for entry. Over. Over. Great. Where are we off to then? Where do you want to go actually? I don't know. Um, should we go east? Where's that? Or should we go around the canal, like the canal for the vlog? It's most beautiful, isn't it? I mean, but I'd love to go on the actual river too. The Amstel? No, the... The, the eye. eye. That would be funny. Yeah. Cookie? You enjoying it? Stop for coffee. Can't we stop there? Why not? All oh, right. We really want to stop and get a coffee from Toki because it's like just there, but it's all the big boats here, like all the houseboats, and we can't really find a spot to jump off. So yeah, really climb off there. Quite high, though. There's Scott and Cookie. Hi. Hello. Hi. For my delivery of coffee. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We have just stopped to have our dinner. <laughs> I got a tempe poke bowl and Scott has, what do you have? Beef. Beef. And we got some coffees as well. Liquor. Every now and again we come across a really low bridge that we need to take this down. And there's one just in front, so I'm going to let you experience the low bridge effect. I wonder if that'll come out good on camera. Yeah. Going under low bridge. <laughs> Where? I don't know. Are you getting that down or what? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright, put my foot down. Oh, there's another bridge, uh, another boat coming the other way. I'm going to show you the other boat because they are like a big boat. <laughs> and we made it out of the low bridge. So, I'll put the navigation pole back up.
My favourite part about the whole boat is the Scotland flag. That's your favourite part of the boat. Every now and again we go past somebody who's clearly Scottish and they see the flag and they shout something. Braveheart, something like that, haggis. No, they don't, they just shout Scotland! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the camera battery died, so I'm just doing a quick little video on my phone. But we are now heading back home because it's starting to get dark and I'll do a roundup video when I'm back home on the camera once the battery's charged and I'll tell you things. The worst part, putting the cover back on once we're finished. My back. We're now home and I changed the battery of the camera so I can finish up the vlog here. Scott is just like straight chilling there. What are you doing, Scott? Uh, I'm gonna try and watch a bit of TV actually for a change. Not to come in the vlog. Oh, the colour of that. Nah, that'll not work, will it? It's fine, yeah, whatever. Is this fine? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't be having that on my vlog. So, I hope that you enjoyed coming on the boat with us. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed too. Just got to wee tongue off off camera. Get that fork out of your hand. <laughs> so, I was wondering whether to add information on, like, what it's like to own a boat in Amsterdam or, like, what you have to do about permits and engines and all that kind of stuff. But, I don't know, Jenk people are interested in that. But I feel like maybe the people that are watching this don't even, one, might not even live in Amsterdam, two, are not considering even getting a boat here. So I'm like, if you want to know anything, just ask me in the comments. Or if you want a round two where I can explain everything about owning a boat in Amsterdam. Or option two, you want a vlog from me. That's option three. All right, third option. Let me know, ding, 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 with so yeah, a comment. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> let us know what you prefer. And... Me or Holly? No. Anyway, we said that we were going to go on the boat for one hour and we ended up on it for what, like three hours? Yeah, ish. I don't know. How long? What time did we get, go on? What time did we go off? I don't know. Give me a pain in my back though at the end of it. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know, it drains the life out of you. Like, it's so fun to be on it. But it's see, really when, tiring. When you get home, it's always like, ugh, ready for bed. It's all the fresh air in it. People always say that, oh, lots of fresh air today. That'll be it. So it's now like seven o'clock and... Late. We had lunch at like five. So may, that might end up being dinner and we yeah. can just have like some... A bowl of popcorn, I reckon. But now I'm just... Homemade popcorn, by the way, not like out of the bag, full of... No, it's like the microwave one that you put in the bag. Fresh. It was not home homemade. It's actually barely homemade, you just put it in the microwave. Yeah, but you would do that with not like on the pan too, wouldn't you? You would actually buy those like kernels or whatever. Yeah, kernel, and then you put them in the pan, warm them up with a lid on top. Yeah, but we're not doing that. I mean... Ours are like already seasoned and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but they're in the corn, in the kernel. <laughs> in the corn? In the kernel. So we're going to have some popcorn and I'm actually going to do some work because Sunday night is my favourite time to do admin and it means my Monday morning can be liquor chill. Uh, probably won't be anyway, but at least the mindset will be a little bit more chill. Okay, anyway, on that note, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, then big congrats. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, my ankle is gouping. <laughs> what? What, has it got a bad aroma? Gouping? <laughs> gouping doesn't mean bad aroma. Uh -huh. It means like, it's, oh, it's fucking gouping. Well, painful. Mm -hmm. Nah, gouping is flavour. No, like it's aroma. Not. Nah. Gouping in Scotland means agony. That is gouping. Anyway, my ankle is gouping. It's agony, but it's fine. And Cookie is okay as well. For a, for a while she on the boat. She might have concussion. I don't know. <laughs> for a while on but the I boat. I am worried about that. We were like, she was like shaking. No, she wasn't shaking. Nah, she, was she just, wasn't shaking. She, she was, was sniffing. Not sniffing so much that her whole body was like because when she's on the boat she there's all these smells that she can't handle and i was like oh my god is she having a seizure is she having a seizure 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 <laughs> but she's actually fine she's down there cookie this way <laughs> turn around turn, turn around. around for camera look say hi to the camera turn around for camera look Open look here way. here oh that stinks she Balfin. has like she... oh Balfin. Balfin, is, yeah yeah aroma Balfin is aroma for gouping oh gouping oh right <laughs> Balfin and gouping. Yeah, so it's gouping, but it's okay. Like, I can walk, but... Oh, that's all black and blue. Look at it. It's black and blue. Not going to show you on camera because I don't want to show you my foot. Nah, not them gouping feet. <laughs> You're balfing. You're balfing and I'm gouping. <laughs> <laughs>
You want a picture? Let me pose for you now. Why do you hate that so much? Anything to do with TikTok. <laughs> I can tell that TikTok. They're boring. <laughs> Shite, they're repetitive. Let me pose for you now. You got me now. Don't so think this angle's doing much for my chin. My chin. Wait, I'm doing. I'm doing. Bye. What I was going to end with was if you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. <laughs>